Welcome to Pharmacomania. In this video, we will see adverse drug reaction. So, we all know that laughter is the only medicine without any side effect. Each and every medicine having their own side effect. So, there are some terminologies like adverse drug reaction and adverse drug event. So, what is adverse drug reaction? Adverse drug reaction is any noxious change which is suspected to be due to a drug occur at normal doses used in human being and it requires treatment or decrease the dose or indicate caution in future use of the same drug. So this is the adverse drug reaction. Now what is adverse drug event? It is untoward occurrence during therapy uh, but which does not necessarily having causal relationship with the treatment like uh, if you are on uh, some treatment and uh, you fall down so it is one event not it is the adverse drug reaction pharmacodynamic effect of the drug there are two kind of the effect desirable or beneficial effect and other one is the undesirable or untoward occurrence or adverse effect so Undesirable or untoward occurrence or adverse effect are subdivided into three group expected undesirable effect, unexpected undesirable effect and others. So in first group expected desirable effect sorry expected undesirable effect are subdivided into side effect, secondary effect and toxic effect. So Type, these are the side effect, toxic effect and second effect are the type A or augmented kind of the adverse effect and it is depend on the uh, mechanical uh, mechanism of action of the drug. Based on the pharmacological properties of the drug is augmented qualitatively and normal response to the drug. It is common, dose related, mostly preventable and reversible and it is managed by dose adjustment. Now side effect what is side effect it is unwanted effect uh, it is unwanted of an unavoidable pharmacological effect of the drug it is occur on the therapeutic dose and it is predictable and can be based on the same pharmacological action like the dryness of the mouth is the side effect of atropine and it can be used as a therapeutic purpose in the pre anesthetic medication to decrease the salivary secretion and second example is the constipation of by the codeine and, and is the side effect can be used as the therapeutic purpose and patient with which having loose motion now secondary effect what is secondary effect it is the indirect conse consequences of the primary action secondary effect is the indirect consequences of the primary action of the drug example Intestinal flora of the uh, suppressed by the tetracycline cause super infection of intestine. Second example is corticosteroid weaken the host defense mechanism causes oral candidiasis can occur during therapy. Toxic effects overdose or prolonged use of the drug causes toxic effect can occur. The effect are predictable and dose related. The system are involved due to the toxic effects are CNS, CAA, CVS, renal, hepatic and bone marrow are most commonly involved in this toxicity. That are chronic or overdose of the anticoagulant causes bleeding from various orifices. Streptomycin causes vestibular damage. These are the toxic effect of the various drugs. Now type B or bizarre or unpredictable type of the reaction. This kind of reaction is based on the peculiarities of the patient, not of the drug action. So no direct relationship to the dose of the drug. It develops on the basis of immunological reaction of the drug like allergy and genetic predisposition like idiosyncratic reaction. It is less common non-dose related and generally more serious uh, and required withdrawal of the drug. Reaction can be predicted and prevented if genetic basis is known and suitable tests are available. So this is the 
unexpected type of, type of the or type B or bizarre type of the side effect. It include hypersensitivity reaction, genetic de genetically determined adverse drug reaction, and idiosyncrasy or unknown. So first one is the allergic drug allergy. It is also called drug hypersensitivity. It is an immunologically mediated reaction producing stereotype symptoms which are unrelated to pharmacodynamic profile of the drug. It is generally occur even the much smaller doses and have different type course of onset and duration. Allergic reaction occur by occur only in small proportion of the population exposed drug. So this is the mechanism of allergic reaction. Hepton it is bind with the body protein and form the antigen. Stimulation of formation of antibody and on next exposure to the drug or antigen causes antigen antibody reaction complex formation and tissue muscle releases the substance like histamine and leukotriens causes formation of the uh, hypersensitivity reaction can occur. So history of the prior sensitization may or may not be evident. The drug or its metabolites X on the antigen or more commonly hepten which is incomplete antigen and induce production of antibody sensitized lymphocytes. Chemically related drug often show gross sensitivity like penicillin causes anaphylaxis. Chemically related drug like amoxicillin and ampicillin may also cause hypersensitivity reaction. This is called gross reaction or gross sensitivity. One drug produces different type of allergic reaction in different individuals. The course of the drug allergy is variable. A person who is sensitive to a drug may subsequently tolerate it without a rational and vice versa. Reaction and vice versa. So these are the uh, both uh, reaction are very dangerous and uh, first one is the Steven Johnson syndrome due to this one is the Steven Johnson syndrome due to sulfur drug and this is the 10 TEN toxic epidermal necrolysis due to sulfur drug. Idiosyncrasy. These are harmful and sometimes fatal reaction that occur in small minority of individual. The cause is yet poorly understood. The drug interact with some unique feature of the individual not found in majority of subject and produces an uncharacteristic reaction. Examples are malignant hyperthermia causes halothane, succinylcholine, chlorpromazine and haloperidol and also aplastic anemia due to chloramphenicol. These are the typical type of the reaction which occurs in small minority of individual not in majority of patient. Genetically determined abnormal response. Presence of a typical pseudocholinesterase in the blood. The incidence of presence of a typical pseudocholinesterase in population is 1 is to 2500. The neuromuscular blocker acting action of succinylcholine is terminated within 5 minutes by hydrolysis due to normal pseudocholinesterase in the plasma. When the genotype atypical pseudocholinesterase cannot hydrolyze succinylcholine in 1 to 2 hours. So, this toxicity can occur due to neuromuscular blockers. The rapid acetylator like uh, Eskimos and Japanese or slow acetylator like Egyptian, Mediterranean, Jews and Swedish. These are the genetic difference between this rapid acetylator and slow acetylator. It is inherited and autosomal recessive trait. The acetylator status of individuals significantly affect the nature of adverse effect with drug, which are mainly metabolized through an acetylation like isoniazide and depsone. 
and slow acetylated isoniazide accumulated after repeated dose leading to neurotoxicity because isoniazide inhibit pyridoxine kinase which converts pyridoxine to its active from pyridoxin phosphate so accumulation of isoniazide causes peripheral neuropathy occur and in fast acetylator causes increased metabolism of the isoniazide and causes decrease the efficacy of isoniazide now other types like C, D, E and F adverse drug action. Type C is the chronic or continuous or long term use of the drug causes adverse effect. These are the adverse effects that are associated with prolonged use of the drug. For example, orofacial dyskinesia after prolonged use of phenothiazide neuroleptic. Phenothiazide is the neuroleptic which is used in psychiatric treatment and it is used for the longer duration of time so orofacial dyskinesia occur due to this, this drug cussing syndrome after chronic use of prednisolone analgesic neuropathy with aspirin prolonged use of aspirin in arthritis can cause analgesic neuropathy and clone, colonic dysfunction can occur after prolonged use of the laxative These are the various effect due to chronic use of the corticosteroid. First one is the peptic ulcer due to chronic use of corticosteroid. Second one is the cataract in the eye and osteoporosis occur in bone and obesity as well as dia occur due to chronic use of the corticosteroid. Now, Type D or delayed appearance of adverse drug reaction. These reactions are delayed in onset, well known and can be anticipated. Teratogenicity like thalidomide disaster, we all know that due to thalidomide, phocomelia occur. In pregnant lady, they have taken th thalidomide for the morning sickness and phocomelia occur in the kids. Mutogenicity and carcinogenicity genesis can occur. Other, other adverse drug reaction like the tardive dyskinesis during L-DOPA and Parkinson's disease treatment. This is the picture of phocomelia. It occurred due to thalidomide treatment during pregnancy of spring can occur phocomelia. These are the various picture of teratogenicity. First one is the valproate causes spina bifida. If pregnant lady has taken valproate causes spina bifida occur in the fetus. And second one is the phenytoin induced cleft palate and hair lip. If a pregnant lady had taken phenytoin causes cleft lip and hair uh, cleft palate and hair lip in the offspring. Now, type E or end of the dose related drug includes withdrawal reaction or rebound phenomena after end of the therapy. If we are stopping the therapy, some reaction can occur. These are called end of the dose of end of the therapy. So, first one is the beta blocker withdrawal lead to shoot up of the blood pressure. If patient is taking beta blocker for longer duration of time and suddenly stop the beta blocker then what happens shoot up of the bleed, um, blood pressure because the upregulation of the beta receptor second one is the corticosteroid withdrawal lead to acute retinal insufficiency withdrawal of withdrawal seizure can occur after suddenly stopped phenytoin so these are the withdrawal reaction or rebound phenomena due to end of the drug therapy last one is the type f or failure of therapy unexpected failure of therapy dose related particularly when used often caused by drug interaction typical example is the failure of contraceptive pills due to concomitant use of stronger enzyme inducer or enzyme inhibitor like anti tubercular drug or anti convulsant drug causes increase the 
metabolism of contraceptive pills and causes decrease the efficacy of contraceptive pill or failure of contraceptive pills thank you